Sulfur dioxide measurement is one of the most common tests in the wine laboratory and is important for both monitoring production and to ensure that wine meets regulatory guidelines. There are two common measures of sulfur dioxide. Free sulfur dioxide, which is important in understanding its effectiveness to control oxidation and microbial activity, and total sulfur dioxide, which is the main parameter used in regulation. While there are a number of methods available to measure sulfur dioxide, this video demonstrates a version of the aeration oxidation method, which is generally considered the reference method around the world. The basic concepts are as follows. For free sulfur dioxide, a wine sample is acidified to shift all the free sulfur dioxide in solution into its molecular form. A stream of air is then bubbled through the sample to carry the sulfur dioxide from the wine up through a condenser to a solution of hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide then reacts with the sulfur dioxide to form sulfuric acid. This solution is titrated against sodium hydroxide with the amount of sodium hydroxide being used to calculate the amount of sulfur dioxide in the original sample. For total sulfur dioxide, the sample is gently heated to release bound sulfur dioxide, but in all other respects it is the same as for free measurement. Before doing the test, it is important to check that the airflow is approximately 1 litre per minute. This can be most easily done with a flow gauge, as seen here. An incorrect flow rate can result in incorrect results. If the flow rate is too low, not all the sulphur dioxide will be removed from the sample, giving a result lower than the actual concentration. If the flow rate is too high, droplets and other contaminants can be carried through to the hydrogen peroxide solution, giving a result that is too high. The stream of air is introduced by attaching a vacuum pump to the outlet of the pear-shaped flask containing the hydrogen peroxide. This is the process for measuring free sulphur dioxide. The first step is to put about 10ml of hydrogen peroxide solution containing the indicator solution into the pear-shaped flask and then attach it to the apparatus. The next step is to accurately pipette out 20 millilitres of wine into a round bottom flask. It is important to do this with as little aeration as possible to ensure that no sulphur dioxide is lost during the procedure. Keep the tip of the pipette below the liquid surface as you empty it and then drain the pipette by holding the tip of the pipette against the side of the flask. Acidify the sample by adding 10 ml of orthophosphoric acid and immediately connect it to the aspiration apparatus and start the airflow. It is important to do this step as quickly as possible after the aspiration to avoid the loss of the volatile sulphur dioxide. The air is allowed to pass through the solution for 15 minutes to ensure that all the free sulphur dioxide has been removed from the sample to the hydrogen peroxide. Take note of the bubbling rate in the sample, it should look similar to this. After the 15 minutes has finished, turn off the airflow and remove the pear shaped flask from the apparatus. Carefully rinse deionized or distilled water through the stem of the pear-shaped flask to ensure that all the solution is mixed into the flask. Carefully titrate using 0.01ml sodium hydroxide until the solution just turns from purple to dark grey green while constantly shaking the pear-shaped flask. When the endpoint has been reached, rinse a small amount of water through the bubbler to ensure no unreacted solution is trapped within it. Note the volume of sodium hydroxide required. 
using the volume from the titration, calculate free sulphur dioxide originally in the sample. To determine the total sulphur dioxide, the procedure is repeated on a fresh sample with heating using a small Bunsen burner or a heating mantle. It is important to note that the aim is not to boil the sample in this procedure, but rather to heat it just short of boiling. Boiling the sample can lead to volatile acids or droplets of wine being carried over to the hydrogen peroxide and giving an artificially high result.